Do you want to know which foods I eat to stay in shape? Well, I'm going to take you through in this video seven foods, they're essential foods. I try to eat them every day because I know they're going to benefit my body in every way. So let's get into it. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40 or like me over 50 get in fantastic shape. And one of the ways you do this isn't it is by eating the right sorts of foods and I made videos on protein, I've made videos on carbohydrates and I've made videos on the right kind of fats but today I'm going to be talking about which foods are absolutely essential and they're part of my day they've become my habit and they are what I eat every single day so the first food I'm going to talk about is oats or oatmeal I love having this for breakfast oatmeal is a great source of fiber carbohydrate and it also has protein in it believe it or not so what I find if I have have oats in my breakfast is it really does keep me full and satisfied and going for a really long time before I feel hungry again. I actually love the taste of them as well so I do have them every single day and I don't buy into some of these videos that you see that say they're really bad for you. I've been eating them for years with no problem at all and gotten in really good shape eating oats or oatmeal. Now the second thing I'm going to talk about is protein powder. Now you don't have to have protein powder. I love to include this every single day and I actually mix it in with my oatmeal. And why is that? because it's a really easy way of getting protein in and I love to have about 150 grams of protein per day. I've actually made a video on how to get in 150 grams of protein per day but you know I always advise you shoot for one gram of protein per pound in your body weight and so for me 150 grams is actually more than that because what protein is going to do it's going to help your body burn fat and it's actually going to help you build muscle and what happens is you actually really improve your metabolism by eating a really high protein diet and so it helps you as a woman over 40 get in amazing shape you don't have to do that with powder you can do it with food you don't have to have powder but it just makes it really easy when you're thinking about mixing it in with food making drinks with it it makes it really easy then to get your protein in. The third food that I absolutely love, and I've always loved chicken from when I was a child, you know, I didn't always like red meat. I found it really difficult to digest but ever since a child I've always loved chicken and I've got chicken breast here the reason is chicken breast is really high in protein but also lower in calories than say the thigh but there's nothing wrong with the thigh but if you're trying to sort of keep your calories in check breast is kind of a little bit better because you can eat more of it and it's got a really high amount of protein in. 100 grams of chicken breast is going to have a whopping 30 grams of protein in it. So it's really fantastic. The other protein source that I love and that is salmon. I've got smoked salmon here. Now any oily fish would really be fine. Salmon can be a bit expensive and I just like the taste of it. I love to have this smoked salmon because I can eat it raw. Why? Well again and this goes for any type of fish really but fish is really high in protein. I love to get in a fatty fish or an oily fish because oily fish or fatty fish is anti-inflammatory so it's great for balancing your hormones and great when you're over 40 and you're looking for foods and I'm going to talk about some of the other foods in a minute that are great for balancing your hormones and oily fish is one of those so not only is it going to help you get your protein in but it's really good because it's a source of those good fats and fish oils are 
are amazing for perimenopausal and menopausal women to include in your diet. You should be having some kind of oily fish really once or twice a week if you can. I know if you're vegan that's not going to be possible or some people just don't like fish do they? But if you can having them a couple of times a week is going to really help. Talking of fats I love to include avocado another form of healthy fats and this time it's a vegetable fat you know it actually has a little bit of protein in i just love the flavor of it it's going to be great again because it's a healthy fat for balancing your hormones so and also what these healthy fats can do is actually keep you a little bit satisfied as well so it's really important for women over 40 to get some fats in into your diet don't be afraid of fats but you do have to measure them so i only normally eat half an avocado at one sitting because if i eat the whole one it's going to be really high in calories next i love having berries every single day i will eat berries this is just a bag of frozen berries by the way there's nothing wrong with frozen food frozen food is a little bit cheaper usually than fresh food and you can get a lot of the vitamins and minerals that you get in fresh food in frozen food as well it's just potentially not as much but it's still really good for you so i tend to have one portion of that a day again berries are fantastic for balancing your hormones they are packed with nutrients they're actually really low in carbohydrates so they're also low in calories so great for you if you're kind of watching what you eat you know you can eat a lot of berries have really high in volume and it's not going to push you over the calorie allowance that you have so that's why i love to include them but i also love the taste of them and then the last thing i'm going to talk about is kind of green veggies so the things like broccoli and those they're also cruciferous vegetables that are really good for you and sort of cabbage the good old humble cabbage i love but you know there are other green vegetables i love to include green vegetables into my routine every single day and I usually you know I don't juice them or blend them I just include them whole in my food and they're going to be packed with vitamins and minerals that are really really good for you and also great for balancing your hormones. So that was a unique insight into the foods that I eat every single day. I would love to hear from you on what foods you eat every single day please let me know in the comments section and don't forget i've actually already made a video on the foods i do not eat if i can help it at all so check that out i am going to link it here